Welcome to the Injection Connection, in-depth discussions with thought leaders and professionals in the polyurethane infrastructure repair industry. What are then some of the uh, most interesting or, or unique type applications have you seen for chemical grouting? Oh, I think, uh, gee, I think some of the most unique applications were, uh, gosh, I mean, all, all of them in, in their own way are, are unique. I think the, uh, I think some of the big uh, semiconductor jobs in Austin that we did with uh, injection tubes were, were, were really pretty interesting because they were challenging because of the enormity of the project and the size of some of the walls and everything. Um, I think the, I think the jobs that, I think the jobs that I, I've worked on down in the water table in general were probably the most interesting because when you're working in the water table, it's pretty unforgiving. Uh, you either do it right or you do it wrong. And when water's squirting up six, eight feet high all around you, uh, <laughs> that, that kind of gets your attention. Had a job in California uh, back in my uh, Deneef days in, I think it was Redwood City, California. In California, land is so valuable that even for shopping centers, they, they build massive parking garages under the shopping centers. And we had a, um, we had a waterproof membrane failure in a parking garage uh, under a shopping center. And when we drilled our injection holes, the water squirted out eight to 12 feet. So now you're, now you got a problem of how do you even get your grout to go in? So we had to do things that you normally don't do, like, 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 like set up relief valves and actually put faucets on them to control the rate of flow so we could get water into the rest of the holes, things like that. that that's something I remember a lot. I remember on uh, not the same job, but a job right next to it out there where a contractor actually putting a curtain under the bottom slab in a, in a six story parking garage, believe it or not, actually heaved a five foot thick slab in the bottom of a parking garage with an expansive chemical grout. Wow. Uh, that was kind of interesting because it was so improbable that he would be able to do it. I mean, I realize chemical grout, how the expansive grout exerts three, 400 PSI. I, I understand that. But still, when you think five foot of reinforced concrete, but he did. Um, gee, what else was it was interesting? I, um, just, I mean, it's, they've all kind of been interesting. I, I kind of fell in love with chemical grout that first year I was in the business when I figured out what it was. And I, I'm just as excited today about working on a small job as I am working on a big one. You, you know, I, I share that. And one of the, the biggest compliments I get when, when I talk to people is when they say that they see that I'm passionate for it. It's because I, I do, I, I find grouting very uh, uh, mentally stimulating. It, it's, it's a game that you get to go out there and you know your pieces and you know how your grout works, but you got, you can't see into that wall. So it's figuring out what's going on in there. And uh, sometimes it's not very intuitive. But uh, it's exciting. Actually, I'm after all these years. Right now, I'm working on probably the most interesting, or at least the most challenging job that I've ever had. After all this time, it's on a dam, a huge dam, built in the '30s in Central Texas on, on one of the Highland Lakes, and we have leaks through the joints that approach uh, five, six hundred gallons an hour. Um, and it's these joints are 30 feet in the air on an arch dam. So all kinds of problems with access, uh, working conditions, et cetera, et cetera. So even after all these years, the, this one really has my attention. 